Okay, in this video we are going to be teleporting new players to the starting location of our choice. To do this we are going to need an objective, so we will type the command scoreboard objectives add, I'm going to call mine is new, you can call that anything you like, and it will be a dummy objective. Okay, created new objective is new. Now I am going to have them teleport to here, that's just a little marker, you don't have to put that. I'm going to put a block on top, look at the block and type fill, tab, tab, tab. That will get me the X, Y and Z coordinates of the block. I'm going to copy those, copy and remove the block. Now I will put down command block and I will leave it needs redstone and I will make it a repeating command block and we are going to execute as all players unless the score of the player running the command is new, our objective we just created, equals the score of the player running the command is new. So it seems a bit strange but if we don't have a score that will be false. So the command will run for us and we are going to teleport the player person running the command to the coordinates that we just copied and then we'll set their facing direction. I'm going to put naught, naught, done. Now I put a lever on there. Now we don't have a score for is new yet so that is going to teleport us here. Before I do that, I am going to copy the coordinates of the lever. So fill, tab, 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 and I'm going to copy the lever coordinates. You'll see why when I turn the lever on. So we have no score, let's teleport. We've teleported. But we are not changing the score, so we cannot move. We are being teleported all the time. That's why I copied the uh, lever coordinates, because we can now do set block, the coordinates I copied and we can set that to air. Now our block isn't being powered anymore, we can move again. Let's put the lever back. What we need to do is change their score after they've been teleported. So we have another command block. This one is always active and it's a chain command block. And we will put execute as all players unless the entity, person who is running the command, open and close square brackets, scores equals open and close braces, is new equals one. So if there is new score does not equal to what equal one, then we will run scoreboard players set at the person running the command there is new score to one. So if their score doesn't equal one or they have no score it's now going to be set to one. So we are teleporting people who have no is new score to this location. Then we are setting their is new score to one. So this is only going to teleport them once because once their score is set to one with this chain command block, this will no longer run. So let's trust that. There we go. Teleport once and we will never teleport again as long as that score stays there. We could scoreboard players set at the nearest player. That's me because I'm the only player on is new to naught, well we're still not teleporting because naught is equal to naught. So as long as we've got a score we are never going to teleport. We can remove the score. Now we've removed the score so nothing's being checked now because this score, this score doesn't exist but if we put the score back we create a new one, add is new dummy. Oh, we get teleported once again. There we go. 
Let's test that with uh, another player just to make sure. So we have another player join the server. There we go, teleported straight to the location. Didn't affect me. Let's move them a bit. And then we will log them off and then connect them straight away again. And they t teleported back to where they logged out. So it's only going to affect people the first time they log in. Okay, and that is the simple way to teleport people to where you want when they first join the map.